Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this minimal line and text animation is done entirely in After Effects and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition and uh, let's call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's create a solid. So right click new and let's create a solid. And on this one, I'm going to change its color to a little bit off white color, something like this. So just pick whatever color you want and just click on OK. So now we have our background. So our next step is to create a shape. So for this example, I'm going to create a wavy kind of pattern, but it's completely up to you. You can create whatever shape you want. So in order to do that, we are going to first enable the proportional grid. So you can just click over here and from here you can enable this. Now you can select the pen tool and you can start creating the shape. So for this one, I'm going to just go over here and let's click on this position. After that, you can just move somewhere around four blocks. So one, two, three, four, and let's move two blocks down somewhere around here. Now at this point, you can just click and drag and you will see that it will start creating this curve. Now you can hold on the shift key to make this smooth or straight. Now you can just move something like two blocks. So we have this one block and then this is the second block so that we have this sort of shape. Now we don't want this fill. So in order to do that, you can just click on this fill and let's set this to none. Instead, we only want the stroke. So I'm going to just increase the stroke amount to something like 10 for now. Now we can just continue creating this line. So just click on this point once again. Now. In order to add the next point, I'm going to go to this end and I'm going to just click over here. Then again, drag, hold on the shift key and let's drag it to something like two blocks somewhere around here. So we have this sort of shape and I want this point to have this sort of curve. So in order to do that, just click anywhere you want. After that, just reselect this. Now hold on the alt key and as you move to this point, you can see that it will change your cursor. Now you can click and drag. You can see that it will give it really nice handles. Now you can hold on the shift key to move it into a axis. Now let's place it over here so that we have this sort of curve. Now I want this curve to extend and I want it to continue after this. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select this. Now you can move it to the left side. So you can just select V or selection tool from here. Now you can just move it to the left side, something like that until this point comes to over here. Now after that, you can again select the pen tool. Let's click over here and we can continue drawing the line. So again, we can click somewhere in the middle and hold on the shift key. Let's create a curve that looks something like this. Now let's go over here again. Let's click and drag to create a curve just like that. So once you're done with this, we can just again move this curve to the left side. Now, after this, if you want to continue this curve, then you can do that. But I want this curve to end over here. So in order to do that, again, I'm going to select the pen tool. Let's click this end point. Now I want this to end somewhere in the middle. So for that, I'm going to just click over here instead of over here. Then you can just click and drag. Now again, hold on shift and let's make it something like that so that it smoothly goes to this. Now I want this line to go straight after this. So I'm going to just hold on the shift key and just click anywhere you want so that it, it will create a straight line, something like this. So once you're done with this, we can probably turn off the proportion grid for now. Now let's select this and I'm going to just place it to the very beginning where we have this line starting somewhere around here. So here you can see we have the starting point. Let's align it over here. Now we want a circle which will move on to this line. So for that, you can select the ellipse tool from here. Now you can click anywhere, hold on the shift key and just create a circle, something like this. Now on this one, we want the fill. So I'm going to go under fill and let's enable this fill to something like that. Now we don't need the stroke. So I'm going to set this to zero. So here you can see we have this ball. We can probably scale this down. So select this, press S and I'm going to just scale it down something like that yeah, I think this is looking fine. Now our next step is to make this ball follow this path. Now this sounds very difficult, but actually it's very easy. Let me show you how to do that. Let me just quickly first select this and I'm going to call this one path and let's select this one and I'm going to call this ball like that. Now we can select the path and in the search, I'm going to search for path. So you can see that we have this path property. Let's add a keyframe for this path. 
now we can select the ball and you can press p for position now you can select the path and press u to reveal the keyframe now all you have to do is just simply copy this path after that select this position then press ctrl v to paste it now if i play back you can see that our ball will start following this path which is exactly what we want but you will notice that it is following the path exactly but instead we want this ball to be little bit up so in order to do that just go to the very beginning so we have this ball so before we proceed a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and i want you to please do that because i want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel so make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so let's continue after that you can select all the keyframes now you can zoom in and you can use the arrow keys to move this ball little bit down make sure to select all the keyframes now you can see that the whole path has been lifted something like that so now if i play back here you can see that the ball is following the path on top of it now we can add a camera because we want our camera to move along this ball so in order to do that let's right click new let's add a camera so i'm using this film size 36 mm and focal length 50 mm just click on ok let's create a new null object so right click new null object let's make the null object 3d and let's make the ball and the path 3d as well after that i'm going to select this camera and let's parent it to the null now we can select the null and press p so here you can see we have the position property now you can move around using this so you can see that our camera is moving along the line something like that so let's press ctrl z so that we can go to the very beginning now first we are going to animate this path so i'm going to select this and we can probably delete this keyframe so just click on the stopwatch now we can select this let's open this up and under the path let's go to add and from here i'm going to select the trim path so here we have this trim path now let's open this up so you can see that we have this end property and if i make this 0 or 100 you can see that our line will start animating so we can use this so let's add a keyframe at the very beginning now we can move somewhere around four seconds after that let's set this to 100 now we can probably select the keyframes press f9 or you can right click keyframe assistant and let's easy ease them now you can go under the graph and i'm going to just change the graph something like this for now we can tweak this further on so now if i play back here you can see we have this very smooth line animating just like that now let's quickly match the ball with this as well so in order to do that just select this last keyframe and you can start moving and let's move it to four second as well now you can see that all these keyframes will automatically change their position because this is row across time and you will notice that we are not able to tweak any of these because we don't have much control on them so in order to get the control we can just select all the keyframes then you can right click and just uncheck this row across time so now you can see that the keyframes will change and we can select all of them and press f9 to ease them now we can easily control the speed of this ball how it is moving so let's play with it so let's go to the very beginning and i'm going to just select the keyframes let's go to the graph editor and in case your graph looks different then make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph now after that we can start tweaking this but first of all let's understand how a ball moves in a real world so you can see that we have this curve and let's say we have an object over here so as you can see that it will move slowly as it goes through this slope and after that it will start increasing its speed and somewhere around here it will have the maximum speed so in order to do that we can do the same thing in this curve as well so we have this ball so in the beginning i want the ball to be start slow so let's select and move this point to somewhere around here now you can see that our ball will start slow and at this point i want this to be at maximum speed so now to do that i'm going to just select this and let's move it to the right side something like that now after this point i want this to start very fast because it is at a maximum speed and gradually it will slow down at this point so in order to do that i'm going to start very fast so let's move it over here let me just quickly zoom in now you can select this end point and i'm going to just move it to this side so that we have this very harsh slope now if i play back here you can see our ball will start very slow and at this point it will start very fast and after that it will slow down again which is looking perfect now let's select our null object which we have over here because we want to see what happens next so i'm going to just move it so that we can see the later part something like that let's select the position back now here you can see our ball is at the top and again from here it will start slow and then it will start 
gaining some speed so we can do the same thing over here as well so i'm going to select this so at this point let's change the curve to look something like that so that it will start very slow and at this point it will gain the maximum speed so i'm going to just tweak the curve to look like that let's do the opposite thing over here because it will start very fast over here and then it will slow down so i'm going to just tweak the curve like this so here you can see we have this curve now if i play back here you can see our ball comes and after that it goes but you will notice one more thing that as it comes over here you can see that it stops here for a minute fraction of time but we actually don't want that we want it to have a continuous motion now it's very easy to do that so now to achieve that all you have to do is just select both of these points now right click go to keyframe assistant and make sure that this option is checked after that just click on ok now you can do one thing you can just select these points and you can start moving them up a little bit so let's select them and you can just start moving them up something like that so that we have this curve lifted a little bit so now you can see that it won't stop over here instead it will have this very smooth motion which is looking very fine now we can continue animating this so again we can select the null object so let's move to further ahead so let's see our ball over here now let's animate it from this point onwards so again let's select the position so we have our ball over here again at this point our ball will move very slow so i'm going to just select this and let's make this slow now we will have the same problem over here so you can see that our ball will come and it will stop over here so again we can fix that by simply selecting these right click keyframe velocity make sure that this is checked just click on ok now we can zoom in again we can do the same thing we can just lift them up a little bit something like that so that we have this smooth follow-up so here you can see now our ball will come and it will continue moving perfect so at this point we can again do the same thing so let's select this and we can probably move this ahead let's move it like this and let's make this something like that so now you can see that our ball will come and it will go away just like this so let's go to very beginning and now let's do one more thing let's animate the position of our camera as well so that we can see what we are doing so let's set this to 960 like that now i don't want this ball to be visible in the beginning so for that i'm going to just move the camera so that this is not visible something like that now we can start animating this so let's add a keyframe for position now you can see that our ball will start and it will start moving so you can see that it reaches over here now we can move this and let's move it something so that the ball is in the center something like that now again let's move it now we can do the same thing let's move it so that the ball is again in the center so let's move this point as well so at here you can see that the ball is again in the center so we can just move the camera to make this over here perfect so at last you can see that the ball goes out of this frame so we can just move the camera so that we have this blank line something like that so now if i play back here you can see that our camera will start following this ball which looks perfect now we can do one more thing we can select the keyframes press f9 now if i play back here you can see we have this camera and you will notice that we have the same problem the camera will stop at this point for a couple of milliseconds so in, we can fix that by simply selecting them right click and go under keyframe velocity make sure that this is checked just click on ok now we can do the same thing so let's select this and i'm going to just lift it up a little bit like that now we can play around with the curves as well so let's do it this further and i'm going to just make it a little bit like that so now if i play back here you can see we have a very smooth motion so here you can see we have this ball moving now this is something that you can play around so here you can see we have this motion again at this point the camera stops so we can just select this point right click keyframe velocity make sure that this is checked just click on ok so this is a very powerful technique whenever you are animating something and you find something like the animation stops or pauses for a frame or two then you can just select these keyframes and just lift them up a little bit so that it will have a continuous motion now we can move it probably something like that and let's do the same thing over here as well so here you can see we have this sort of curve 
Now, if I play back here, you can see our camera will move along with this very nicely. And I think we are pretty much done with this. Now let's focus on this path as well. So you can see that our ball is moving and our line stays behind it. So we can fix that by simply selecting the path. And after that, we can just tweak this endpoint again. So I'm going to first go over here. Let's uncheck this because we are going to animate it from the beginning. So let's add a keyframe at the end. After that, let's move and you can see that our ball is moving. So let's go over here and I'm going to just move the endpoint something like that. So here you can see our ball is moving and our path is following it as well. So after that, again, we want the ball over here. Let's continue moving this endpoint. So let's increase it something like that. So now you can see we have this line and it will go and move forward this ball something like that so after this point we want the ball to go out of this frame and we can just set this to 100 now let's play around and just tweak with the keyframes so you can see that we have this motion we can probably select this and let's move this little bit ahead something like that so I think this is looking fine. Now this is something that you can play around. You can play around with the position of the line. If you want to make this completely visible, then you can delete these keyframes and then you can just animate it fully in the beginning. But I want the line to be move along with the ball, something like this. Now there is one more small problem. You will notice that as our ball is coming, you can see that this motion like over here at this down part, it is way too fast. So I want this to be a little bit slower. So let's select the keyframes of the ball and let's go to the graph editor. Now over here, you can see we have this very steep curve. Now we can just fix that by simply selecting these points and I'm going to just move them a little bit to the left side so that we have this sort of curve. Let's do the same thing on, on the other side as well, something like that. So now if I play back, here you can see that now the ball won't go very fast it will actually move nicely something like that again we can do the same thing over here as well so let's select the keyframes let's move it a little bit to the left side let's select this and let's move it a little bit to the right side just like that now if i play back here you can see we have this very nice movement this looks perfect and at this point let's do the same thing so let's add a little bit of gap just like that so we are pretty much done with the curve now if i play back here you can see we have this very nice ball animation and you can see that it goes away after that so once we are done with this we want this line to follow up and go out of this frame as well so in order to do that we can select this path and you can see that under the trim path we have the start property as well so we can animate it so let's add a keyframe for start and somewhere around here we can just set this to 100 now you will notice that as this path is coming you can see that it will start moving from the end point as well from here so here you can see that it will go out of this frame just like that but we want this to have little bit of delay so i'm going to just move these keyframes a little bit ahead so now if i play back here you can see we have these motion and we can probably move this little bit ahead perfect so now you can see we are done with the animation there you go now we have done everything our last step is to add our text so adding the text is very easy all you have to do is just simply select the text tool now we can click and you can type whatever you want i'm going to type motion for now let's place it to the center somewhere around here and I'm using this Gotham black font but it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever font you want let's select this and I'm going to first make this anchor point to the center so just hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool now let's make this smaller so press s and I'm going to just make this little bit like that now let's go a little bit back so we have the line over here and let's select this and I'm going to just place it right above this line somewhere around here now we can add a keyframe for position so select this press p let's add a keyframe for position let's go a little bit back somewhere around here and we can just move it down below now you can select these keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and on this one i'm going to just change it to like that so that it comes out something like this now we don't want to see the text before that so it's very easy all you have to do is just simply select the rectangle tool and we are going to draw a shape 
Now let's go out of this graph editor. Make sure that none of the layer is selected. After that, you can zoom in and let's start adding a square or rectangle, something like this, which is right below our text. So let's move it somewhere around here. Now we can probably extend this something like that. Let's move it below so that it's barely at the top of this below this text, something like that. Now we can select this text and I'm going to just change its track mat. Now, in case you are using the older versions of After Effects, then you will have different options over here. You won't have this drop down. Instead, you will have track mat, alpha mat, inverted, luma mat, something like that. So all you have to do is just select the alpha inverted. But in case you are using the latest version, all you have to do is just simply pick whip and just pick whip this shape layer, which we just created. After that, just click on this icon so that it will invert this out. Now we can probably set this to 100. Now if I play back here, you can see we have this motion and over here we have the text coming up. Now you can play around with the timing of this text and I'm going to just move it over here. So just play around with the timing, something like that. So you can see that as soon as the line starts to go, you can see that our text will reveal. Perfect. Now let's preview it one last time. So here you can see we are pretty much done with the animation. There you go. Now if you want to add more text, then all you have to do is just simply type whatever you want. Now in the same way, you can add a logo as well over here instead of text. So it's completely up to you, you can do whatever you want. So this is how you can create these kind of very smooth, minimal text reveal animations in After Effects. And if you have any queries or questions, then you can ask in the comments below. Also, the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.